Dave Boyle, and I'm quitting alcohol. So, the boy Al is coming to you live from Gold Coast, Queensland today, and it has been a while since I've been here. I worked it out. Last time I was in Queensland, my wife was pregnant with our first kid, my son, so about seven years ago. So, it's good to be back, and... It's a whole completely different fucking ball game out here on the Gold Coast. I'm in Burley. I'm staying in Burley. And from what I can tell, it seems to me that growing dreadlocks is a viable occupation out here. I think that's all you need to do to get by here. You just grow some dreadlocks and somehow you get a two-bedroom flat just across the road from the beach and you can fucking surf all day and smoke gunja. And it looks like the dreadlocks are the only work they're actually doing. I was at the park earlier and it was right across the road from the beach and there was this apartment building and there was like four different people out on their balcony. It was like the same person, four different people with dreadlocks, all having a little fucking chill on the balcony, just looking at the surf, just chilling. I forgot you could just chill here. I don't know if you can do it as much anymore because there's a lot of fucking people around now and there's a lot of fucking apartment buildings going up i think it's got a lot more expensive than it used to be here but when i was younger the gold coast was the place (laughs) the gold coast was the place you were gonna head to completely drop out of society like where i grew up in dramana there was a lot of surfers and all that sort of shit dramana was like a very cold fucking gold coast Lots of people smoking gunja, lots of surfers, lots of fucking meth heads, lo- lots of drop kicks, And all those types, their dream was to move to the Gold Coast. Everyone would talk about, we're moving to the Goldie. I'm going to the Goldie. <laughs> the surf's better and it's warmer, but it's basically exactly the same fucking place. But you could do it on the Dole back then. You could get like a two-bedroom place on the Goldie on the doll and still have fucking change for some Winnie Blues, some fucking darts, plenty of change. You would be able to go out two or three nights a week as well, especially if you were fucking supplementing the income, the doll, with a few Grammy bags of weed sold here and there, a few, a few three for fifties. I mean, you're turning over like six, seven hundred dollars a week and you haven't even left the fucking balcony. This is back in, like, the late 90s, early 2000s. Why wouldn't you come to the fucking Goldie? But I get the sense it's changed a little bit now. I don't know if you can have that lifestyle on the Goldie like you used to be able to. I think you have to go further up the coast now. That's how it always works. The chillers, the cool cunts, they find a little nook where everything's cheap, where they don't have to work where they can just fucking float by in a haze of weed smoke and fucking good tunes and good times. And then you get the out-of-towners coming in going, oh, fuck, that lifestyle looks good. I think I'll move in next to these cunts. I think I'll move in and bring my veganism and my fucking... What else is cunty besides veganism? Pokey bowls. (laughs) I don't mind a pokey bowl, but fucking... I think I'll move in next to these chillers, the dreadlockers, and I'll fucking eat a poke bowl next to them. And then fucking other cunts come in and see these fucking cunts <laughs> with the poke bowls and go, oh, that poke bowl looks good. Why don't I just move out, out here? Next thing you know, the rent and the property prices are fucking skyrocketing and all the dreadlockers, the fucking main chillers who just want to fucking float by have to move further down the coast, away from the jobs. Because what happens is when those fucking poke bowl eaters come down, or the vegans, everything becomes expensive. So if you want to stay in the same place, you're going to have to get a job. Whereas before these cunts came in, you didn't have to. You could sell a few grams to your mates, and you could fucking pretend you look for 10 jobs every fortnight and get the doll. But when these cunts move in, you've got to fucking get a job to do the exact same thing that you've been doing for the last decade, maybe two decades. And you're like, fuck that. So I'll just move a little bit further down the coast where it's a little bit cheaper. 
where there are no jobs. <laughs> You got to move to a place where there's no jobs, where there's like zero fucking vacancies, employment. All the locals are telling you it's a fucking nightmare out here. There's just no fucking work. There's just nothing to do out here. There's no work. Couldn't find a fucking job if you were the Sultan of Brunei. I like it out here though. The sun is way too fucking hot for me though. I walked down to get the hire car this morning. It was like 8.30 in the morning and I was getting fucking seared. It's winter and I was getting fucking cooked. I would have to be a little bit further. I would have to be down the coast as well. I would have to fucking grow a dreadlock mullet and move down the coast because I don't want to be near any jobs either. And I'd have to go fucking inland a little bit where there's some fucking trees so I could have some shade. The beach is not my place. Anyway, it's fucking good to be out here. I'm around here for like another two or three days, I think. And then we're heading to the sunny coast and maybe Brisbane and then back here. So that's fucking it for today. I obviously missed fucking Boyle Breaks history yesterday, so I'll just do it next week. I was going to do it today, but I'm too fucking busy today. There was something I was going to fucking say. I can't fucking remember though. Anyway, fucking who cares? That'll do for today. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around. And I'll see you the fuck later.